I'm Lily Thompson, and I've lived in the small town of Cedar Creek all my life. It's the kind of place where everyone knows everyone else's business, and the most exciting thing that happens is the annual county fair. Don't get me wrong, I love my town, but there's a whole big world out there beyond these familiar streets, and I've always dreamed of seeing it. I work at the local cafe, Brood Awakenings, where I serve up coffee and pastries with a smile to the regulars who come in every morning. It's not the most glamorous job, but it pays the bills and gives me time to dream about what lies beyond the horizon. One day, while I'm wiping down the counter, a stranger walks in. He's tall with a scruffy beard and a backpack slung over his shoulder. His eyes have seen things. You can tell just by looking at them. He introduces himself as Jack, a traveler passing through town. As Jack sits at the counter, sipping his coffee, he starts telling me stories about his adventures. He's been everywhere, from bustling cities to remote villages in far-off lands. With every tale he spins, I feel a pang of envy and a flicker of excitement. I want to see the world just like he has. I can't help but ask him questions, wanting to know every detail of his travels. Jack laughs and indulges me, painting vivid pictures with his words. He tells me about the thrill of stepping into the unknown, the joy of meeting new people, and the freedom of life on the road. As the day goes on, Jack becomes a regular at Brood Awakenings. He stops by every morning, sharing more stories, and filling my head with dreams of faraway places. With each passing day, I find myself drawn to him, captivated by his adventurous spirit and the promise of something more. But as much as I long to join Jack on his travels, I can't shake the feeling of responsibility weighing me down. My family, my friends, my job, they all anchor me to this town, holding me back from chasing my dreams. Can I really leave everything behind to follow a stranger into the unknown? As the sun sets on Cedar Creek, I find myself torn between the comfort of the familiar and the allure of the unfamiliar. I know that I have a choice to make, one that will change the course of my life forever. And as I lock up the cafe for the night, I can't help but wonder what lies ahead on this journey called life. The next morning, I find myself eagerly awaiting Jack's arrival at the cafe. There's a flutter of excitement in my stomach as I imagine what new stories he'll share today. Sure enough, as the clock strikes eight, Jack strolls through the door with a grin on his face. As Jack takes his usual seat at the counter, I can't help but notice how his eyes light up when he sees me. We fall into easy conversation, trading stories and laughter as if we've known each other for years. There's something about Jack that makes me feel alive, like I'm seeing the world through fresh eyes. As the days turn into weeks, Jack and I grow closer. We spend our mornings together at the cafe, our afternoons exploring the town, and our evenings lost in conversation under the stars. I've never felt this connected to anyone before, like Jack truly understands me in a way no one else does. But amidst the laughter and the adventure, there's a tension lingering between us, it's as if we're both tiptoeing around something, afraid to acknowledge the growing attraction between us. I catch myself stealing glances at Jack when he's not looking, wondering if he feels the same way I do. One afternoon, as we're walking along the riverbank, Jack stops suddenly and turns to face me. There's a seriousness in his eyes that I haven't seen before, a vulnerability that takes my breath away. He reaches out and takes my hand in his, his touch sending shivers down my spine. Lily, he says softly, his voice barely above a whisper. There's something I need to tell you. My heart pounds in my chest as I wait for him to continue. Could this be the moment I've been waiting for? The moment when Jack finally admits his feelings for me? I'm leaving, Jack says, his words hitting me like a punch to the gut. I'm heading out on the road again, and this time, I don't know when I'll be back. I feel a surge of disappointment wash over me as I realize what Jack is saying. He's leaving, and there's nothing I can do to stop him. But amidst the sadness, there's a flicker of something else. Determination. Then take me with you, I blurt out before I can stop myself. I want to see the world with you, Jack. I want to experience all those adventures you've been telling me about. For a moment, Jack looks taken aback by my words. But then a smile spreads across his face, lighting up his eyes in a way that takes my breath away. Are you sure? He asks, his voice filled with hope. I nod, my heart pounding with excitement. 
This is it. The moment I've been waiting for. The moment when I finally take control of my own destiny. With Jack by my side, I know that anything is possible. And as we stand there, hand in hand, I feel a sense of exhilaration unlike anything I've ever experienced before. This is the beginning of our journey together, the start of something truly extraordinary. After my impulsive declaration to join Jack on his travels, reality starts to sink in. I realize that leaving behind everything I've ever known won't be easy. I have responsibilities here in Cedar Creek, a job, a family, friends, all of whom depend on me. But the pull of adventure is too strong to ignore. As I wrestle with my decision, I find myself seeking advice from those closest to me. I confide in my best friend Sarah over coffee at Brood Awakenings. She listens intently as I pour out my heart, offering words of support and encouragement. You've always been a dreamer, Lily, Sarah says with a smile. And now it's time to turn those dreams into reality. If anyone can make this work, it's you. Buoyed by Sarah's words, I gather the courage to broach the subject with my family. They're understandably hesitant at first, worried about my safety and well-being. But as I explain my reasons for wanting to travel with Jack, they start to come around. You're a grown woman, Lily, my dad says, his voice gruff but filled with pride. And if this is what you want, then we'll support you every step of the way. With the support of my loved ones behind me, I turn to Jack for reassurance. We sit down together at the cafe, our hands clasped tightly as we discuss the practicalities of our journey. Jack listens attentively as I voice my concerns, offering solutions and compromises wherever possible. It won't be easy, Lily, Jack admits, but nothing worth having ever is. If you're willing to take a leap of faith with me, I promise you won't regret it. His words fill me with a sense of hope and determination. I know that this won't be a smooth ride. There will be challenges and obstacles along the way. But with Jack by my side, I feel like I can conquer anything. As the days pass, I start to make preparations for our departure. I give notice at the cafe, much to the dismay of my co-workers and regular customers. I pack my bags, choosing only the essentials for our journey ahead. And most importantly, I say my goodbyes to the people who have shaped my life in Cedar Creek. The night before we're set to leave, Jack takes me to our favorite spot overlooking the town. We sit side by side, watching as the stars twinkle overhead and the lights of Cedar Creek twinkle below. Are you ready for this, Lily? Jack asks, his voice soft with emotion. I take a deep breath, feeling a surge of excitement and anticipation coursing through my veins. I'm ready, I say, turning to face him with a smile. Let's see where this journey takes us, Jack, together. The morning of our departure arrives, and I wake up with a mix of nerves and excitement churning in my stomach. Today is the day I leave behind everything I've ever known to embark on a journey into the great unknown with Jack by my side. As I finish packing the last of my belongings into my backpack, I can't help but feel a pang of sadness at the thought of leaving Cedar Creek behind. This town has been my home for as long as I can remember, and saying goodbye is harder than I ever imagined. But as I glance over at Jack, who's busy loading our bags into the back of his beat-up old pickup truck, I'm reminded of the adventure that awaits us. The open road stretches out before us like a blank canvas, waiting to be filled with memories and experiences beyond my wildest dreams. With a deep breath, I sling my backpack over my shoulder and join Jack outside. He smiles at me, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Ready to hit the road, Lily? He asks, holding out his hand. I nod, feeling a surge of adrenaline coursing through my veins. This is it, the moment I've been waiting for, the moment when my life changes forever. We climb into the truck and pull out of the driveway, leaving Cedar Creek behind us in a cloud of dust. As we drive through the familiar streets, I can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia wash over me. But with each passing mile, that feeling is replaced by a sense of anticipation for the adventures that lie ahead. As we leave the town limits behind us and merge onto the open highway, I feel a sense of freedom, unlike anything I've ever experienced before. The wind rushes through my hair as we speed down the road, leaving all my worries and fears behind me. As the hours pass, Jack and I talk and laugh, sharing stories and dreams for the future. We stop at roadside diners and gas stations along the way, sampling local cuisine and soaking in the sights and sounds of each new place we visit. As the sun begins to set on the horizon, 
we pull off the highway and find a secluded spot to camp for the night. We pitch our tent under the stars, the crackling of the campfire providing the soundtrack to our evening. As I lie in my sleeping bag, gazing up at the stars above, I feel a sense of peace wash over me. Despite the uncertainty of what lies ahead, I know that I'm exactly where I'm meant to be, on the road to adventure with Jack by my side. And as I drift off to sleep, I can't help but feel excited for all the wonders that tomorrow will bring. The next morning, we wake up to the soft glow of the rising sun filtering through the trees. As I emerge from the tent, stretching and yawning, I can't help but feel a sense of exhilaration at the thought of the day ahead. Jack and I quickly pack up our campsite and hit the road once again, our spirits high as we continue our journey into the unknown. With each passing mile, the landscape changes, morphing from rolling hills to towering mountains and vast expanses of desert. As we drive, Jack regales me with tales of his past adventures, each story more captivating than the last. He tells me about the time he got lost in the jungles of South America and the time he stumbled upon a hidden waterfall in Southeast Asia. With each story, I feel myself falling more and more in love with the idea of travel, of seeing the world through Jack's eyes. Our first stop of the day is a small roadside town nestled at the foot of the mountains. We explore the quaint streets, stopping to sample local delicacies and chat with the friendly locals. Everywhere we go, people are drawn to Jack's easy charm and infectious enthusiasm, and it's not long before we're invited to join a group of travelers for dinner at a nearby hostel. As we sit around the communal table, swapping stories and sharing laughs, I feel a sense of camaraderie, unlike anything I've ever experienced before. These are my people, fellow wanderers in search of adventure and discovery, and for the first time in my life, I feel like I belong. As the night wears on and the fire burns low, Jack and I slip away from the group and find a quiet spot to watch the stars. We lie side by side on a blanket spread out on the grass, our fingers intertwined as we gaze up at the endless expanse of the night sky. This is what it's all about, Lily, Jack says softly, his voice filled with wonder, the freedom to go wherever the wind takes you, to explore new places and meet new people. This is what makes life worth living. I couldn't agree more. In this moment, with Jack by my side and the stars twinkling overhead, I feel truly alive for the first time in my life. And as we drift off to sleep under the watchful gaze of the heavens above, I can't help but feel grateful for the journey that lies ahead. As our journey progresses, we encounter our fair share of challenges along the road. The first hurdle comes in the form of a sudden downpour that catches us off guard as we're driving through the mountains. The rain pours down in sheets, obscuring our vision and making the roads treacherous. We navigate carefully, Jack's hands gripping the wheel tightly as he struggles to keep the truck on course. My heart pounds in my chest with each twist and turn, fear gnawing at the edges of my mind. But despite the danger, I feel a sense of exhilaration coursing through my veins. This is what adventure is all about, facing the unknown head-on and coming out stronger on the other side. Eventually, we emerge from the storm unscathed, our clothes soaked through, and our spirits dampened, but still intact. We pull into a roadside motel for the night, grateful for the shelter and warmth it provides. But the challenges don't end there. As we continue our journey, we encounter mechanical issues with the truck, forcing us to make an unscheduled stop at a rundown garage in the middle of nowhere. The mechanic shakes his head as he inspects the engine, muttering curses under his breath as he tries to diagnose the problem. It's going to take some time to fix this, he says gruffly, wiping his hands on a greasy rag. You folks might as well get comfortable. We spend the next few days holed up in the garage, passing the time with card games and idle chatter as we wait for the repairs to be completed. The delay puts a strain on our budget, forcing us to tighten our belts and cut back on expenses wherever possible. But despite the setbacks, Jack and I refuse to let them dampen our spirits, we make the most of our time in the garage, using it as an opportunity to bond and strengthen our relationship. And when the truck is finally ready to hit the road once again, we do so with renewed determination and a sense of purpose. As we drive away from the garage, leaving behind the challenges of the past few days, I can't help but feel a sense of pride at how far we've come. We may have faced our fair share of obstacles along the way, 
but we've emerged stronger and more resilient than ever before. And with each passing mile, I'm reminded of the true meaning of adventure, not just the thrill of the journey, but the strength and courage it takes to overcome whatever obstacles stand in our way. As we continue our journey, Jack and I find ourselves growing closer with each passing day. But amidst the laughter and the adventure, there's a shadow lingering between us, the secrets of Jack's past. One evening, as we sit by the campfire roasting marshmallows under a blanket of stars, I broach the subject tentatively, unsure of how Jack will react. Jack, there's something I've been meaning to ask you, I begin, my voice hesitant. <laughs> You've shared so much with me about your travels, but there's still so much I don't know about you, <laughs> about your past. Jack's expression grows somber, his eyes clouded with emotion as he stares into the flickering flames. There are things in my past, Lily, he says slowly, his voice tinged with regret. Things I'm not proud of, but I want you to know that I'm not the same person I used to be. He goes on to tell me about his troubled youth, his reckless behavior, and the mistakes he's made along the way. He speaks candidly about the struggles he's faced and the lessons he's learned, painting a picture of a man who's fought hard to overcome his demons and find redemption. As I listen to Jack's story, my heart aches with empathy and understanding. I can see the pain etched into his features, the weight of his past bearing down on him like a burden too heavy to bear alone. But despite the darkness of his past, there's a light shining in Jack's eyes, a glimmer of hope and resilience that refuses to be extinguished. And in that moment, I realize that Jack is more than his mistakes, more than the sum of his past experiences. He's a survivor, a fighter, a man worthy of love and forgiveness. I don't care about your past, Jack, I say firmly, reaching out to take his hand in mine. All that matters is who you are now, in this moment. And right now, you're the most amazing person I've ever known. Tears glisten in Jack's eyes as he pulls me into his arms, holding me tight against his chest. In that moment, we both know that our bond is stronger than any secrets or regrets. It's built on a foundation of trust, honesty, and unconditional love. As we lie together under the stars, wrapped in each other's embrace, I feel a sense of peace wash over me. Whatever challenges may lie ahead, I know that as long as we face them together, we can overcome anything. And with Jack by my side, I'm ready to take on the world one adventure at a time. As our journey progresses, Jack and I find ourselves facing a pivotal moment, a crossroads that will determine the course of our future together. It's a decision that weighs heavily on both of our minds as we grapple with the implications of what lies ahead. We've been on the road for months now, traversing mountains and deserts, forests and plains, experiencing the wonders of the world together. But as the novelty of travel begins to wear off, we find ourselves confronting the reality of our situation, the uncertainty of life on the road, the challenges of sustaining a relationship amidst the constant upheaval of travel. One evening, as we sit by the campfire, watching the flames dance in the darkness, I broach the subject tentatively, my heart pounding with apprehension. Jack, I've been thinking, I begin, my voice trembling slightly, about what comes next about where we go from here. Jack's expression grows solemn, his eyes reflecting the flickering firelight as he listens intently to my words. I love this life, Lily, he says softly, reaching out to take my hand in his. But I know it's not for everyone, and I understand if you're feeling unsure about our future. I swallow hard, the weight of his words sinking in. It's true. As much as I've loved our adventures together, there's a part of me that longs for stability, for roots to sink into and a place to call home. But amidst the uncertainty, there's one thing I'm certain of, my love for Jack. He's been my rock, my anchor, my constant companion through every twist and turn of our journey. And no matter where life takes us, I know that as long as we're together, we can weather any storm. I don't want to give up on this life, Jack, I say firmly, meeting his gaze with determination but I also know that I need more than just the open road. I need a sense of belonging, of purpose, of community. Jack nods, his eyes shining with understanding. He knows me better than anyone, knows the depths of my heart and soul, knows what makes me tick. I've been thinking the same thing, Lily, he admits, his voice tinged with vulnerability. I want to keep traveling, but I also want to put down roots somewhere, to build a life together, a home, a family, a future. 
For a moment, we sit in silence. The crackling of the fire, the only sound breaking the stillness of the night, but amidst the uncertainty and the doubt, there's a glimmer of hope shining in our hearts, the hope of finding a compromise, of forging a path forward together, hand in hand. And as we lie down to sleep beneath the starlit sky, I know that no matter what challenges may lie ahead, as long as we face them together, we can overcome anything. This is just the beginning of our journey, a journey filled with love, adventure, and endless possibilities. Mm-hmm. After our heart-to-heart conversation by the campfire, Jack and I come to a decision. It's time to return to Cedar Creek, to our roots, to the place where our journey began. It's a bittersweet moment as we bid farewell to the open road, to the adventures that have shaped us and changed us in ways we never could have imagined. As we make the journey back home, memories of our travels flash before my eyes. The breathtaking landscapes, the exhilarating highs, the challenging lows. But amidst the nostalgia, there's a sense of anticipation building in my chest. Anticipation for the next chapter of our lives, for the possibilities that lie ahead. When we finally arrive back in Cedar Creek, it's like stepping into a dream familiar streets, friendly faces, the comforting embrace of home. But as we drive through town, I can't help but notice how much has changed in our absence. New businesses popping up, old buildings being renovated, the ebb and flow of life carrying on without us. We pull up outside my childhood home, the place where I grew up, where my roots run deep. My parents are waiting for us on the porch, their faces lighting up with joy as they catch sight of us. Lily, Jack, welcome home, my mom exclaims, enveloping us both in a tight hug. It feels surreal to be back, to be surrounded by the familiar sights and sounds of home after so long on the road. But as we settle back into life in Cedar Creek, I find myself falling back into old routines, reconnecting with friends and family, rediscovering the simple joys of everyday life. But amidst the comfort of home, there's a restlessness stirring within me, a yearning for something more, for new adventures, for the unknown. And as I look into Jack's eyes, I can see that he feels it too. We can't stay here forever, Jack, I say one evening, as we sit on the porch watching the sun set behind the mountains. There's still so much of the world left to explore, so many adventures waiting to be had. Jack nods, his gaze fixed on the horizon as if he can see the endless possibilities stretching out before us. You're right, Lily, he says softly. But for now, let's enjoy this moment, this homecoming, this sense of belonging. And when the time is right, we'll spread our wings and take flight once again together. And as we sit there, hand in hand, watching the stars twinkle overhead, I know that no matter where life takes us, as long as we're together, we can weather any storm. This is just the beginning of our journey, a journey filled with love, adventure, and endless possibilities. In the days that follow our return to Cedar Creek, Jack and I settle back into the rhythm of life in our hometown. We reconnect with old friends, rekindle relationships with family, and rediscover the simple joys of everyday life. But amidst the familiarity of home, there's a sense of restlessness stirring within us, a longing for new adventures, new experiences, new beginnings. One evening, as we sit on the porch watching the sun dip below the horizon, I turn to Jack with a determined gleam in my eye. Jack, I think it's time, I say, my voice filled with conviction. Time for us to spread our wings and take flight once again. Jack's eyes light up with excitement, his gaze fixed on the horizon, as if he can see the endless possibilities stretching out before us. You're right, Lily, he says softly. There's a whole world out there waiting to be explored, and I can't wait to see it all with you by my side. With that, we make a plan to leave Cedar Creek once again and set out on a new journey together, this time with a sense of purpose and determination guiding our way. But before we can embark on our next adventure, there's one final task to attend to. Saying goodbye to the place that will always hold a special place in our hearts, we gather our friends and family together for a farewell party, a celebration of the memories we've made and the bonds we've formed. There are tears and laughter, hugs and goodbyes, as we prepare to set out on our next chapter. As the sun sets on Cedar Creek one final time, Jack and I stand hand in hand, ready to take the first step on our new journey. We climb into our truck, the engine roaring to life beneath us, and pull out of the driveway, 
leaving behind the familiar streets and familiar faces of our hometown. But as we drive into the night, I feel a sense of excitement building in my chest, excitement for the adventures that lie ahead, for the unknown that awaits us just beyond the horizon. And as I glance over at Jack, his eyes shining with anticipation, I know that no matter where life takes us, as long as we're together, we can conquer anything. This is just the beginning of our journey, a journey filled with love, adventure, and endless possibilities. And as we drive into the night hand in hand, I can't help but feel grateful for the life we've built together and excited for all the wonders that tomorrow will bring.